हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द स्किल टॉक सो गाइज टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द टाइप ऑफ मेंटेनेंस एंड द कंडीशन मॉनिटरिंग टेक्निक्स एंड यू नो द आर सी एम एंड द एफ एम ए प्रोसेस इन आवर लास्ट वीडियोज सो फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो we will be uh, start discussing about the condition monitoring techniques one by one so uh, from today we will be starting the uh, videos related to the condition monitoring technique that is known as the thermography so uh, so today will be the our first session for our thermography training so uh, in this video we will be uh, laying the foundation that will uh, cover the uh, that what thermography is you know and uh, how it works and the basics or the logics or you can say the science behind this technique right so let's begin and uh, let's start with the definition that what is thermography so uh, what is this thermography so thermography is a is a technology that is infrared imaging technology that is also known as the ir imaging technology technology so it help us to detect and measure the surface temperatures right or in another way we can say that it help us to see uh, heat areas where equipment might be running hotter than the normal right so uh, using this uh, ir camera we can visualize this heat as a thermogram so what is this thermogram so thermogram is a color coded image that shows hot and cold zones for an particular equipment okay so this method is widely used in the uh, electrical systems you know uh, and uh, motors or pumps or maybe the bearing failures or fans uh, overall you can say that it can be used anywhere where heat tells a story okay so uh, before going further so it's uh, important for us to understand the difference between thermal energy and temperature okay so let's cover this topic first and let's have a idea that what is the difference between in thermal energy and temperature then we will be moving ahead so what is this thermal energy so thermal energy is the total energy of all moving particles in an object okay for example there is any object it can be solid it can be liquid so once you pass on energy to it so the moment that will occur in the uh, particles that is known as the uh, thermal energy okay so and what is the temperature so temperature is the average energy of those particles okay so what is the difference between thermal energy and the temperature energy that thermal energy is the total energy of the moving particles in an object while temperature is in the average energy of those particles uh, so i believe that you understand the logic behind this thermal energy and the thermal temperature so something that can have high thermal energy it's not necessary that you guys will be you know feeling very hot you know so uh, to make it simple we can just take an example of a bathtub filling with fill with the warm water versus the cup of a boiling tea right so if you guys are taking a bath in a in a you know warm water and using a bathtub so the overall the heat that is uh, that contains in that warm water will be having more thermal energy okay so compared to the uh, cup that is uh, having a boiling tea okay but if you are if you will ask me about the temperature so definitely the temperature of the bathtub warm water will be less if you will compare it to the uh, temperature of a cup filled with the boiled tea so uh, i think this uh, example will give you the a very clear idea that what is the difference between the thermal energy and thermal temperature so it's not always necessary that if there is a higher thermal energy so that object will have more temperature so uh, let's under understand some thermodynamics behind it okay uh, so uh, heat always flow from hot to cold right so there are a total three ways that how heat can move from one object to the another so uh, what are these three ways first one will be the conduction so what is this conduction so conduction is the process that have the direct contact the two objects are having direct contact with each other second one is the convention that is uh, the medium will be through fluid or or you can say through air right and the third one will be the radiation that is also known as the electromagnetic waves so what thermography is thermography is all about the radiation more specifically if you'll go inside so it's known as ir that is infrared radiation okay so that's what that our normal thermal uh, this thermography cameras are detecting now let's discuss about in uh, infrared radiation so uh, infrared is a 
part of an electromagnetic spectrum it's just seen like you know visible light but the difference is that we can't see it through through our naked eyes so every object with a, a temperature above the absolute zero that will give off the infrared energy so more energy it will emit so the more hot hotter it will be so infrared cameras that uh, will what they will do they will detect this radiation that is coming out from these objects which which become hotter and convert it into a image that we can see and analyze so now what are these image these image are known as the thermograms right so when you you when we use uh, this thermography cameras or you can say the thermal cameras so the whatever the result that we are getting in the form of the image is known as the thermogram so what will happen how you will see this image the hot areas will be mostly showed up in uh, in colors like red it may be uh, white or yellow and the cooler areas mostly will be represented by blue purple or black so uh, overall this color coloring will make us very easy to identify the hot spot or you can say the abnormal areas that can be like because of uh, uh, you know loose connections or maybe uh, some friction in the bearing or maybe some motor insulation failure okay so uh, if you will try to see all these things through the naked eyes so it will be impossible right so that's why this uh, how this ir technology or ir cameras help us to detect the failures well before the time so uh, in one of the important point that to uh, remember here is this that this thermal imaging it's only shows us the surface temperature okay it's not telling us the internal temperature like you know rtd used to do okay so it's only give you the reflection of the heat of the external body of that object okay so but you know if there will be uh, any changes or any 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 uh, abnormality happen inside the equipment or you can say the any form of heat is generated inside the equipment or object so what will hope happen that uh, either we will be seeing the hot spot or or maybe we can see uh, you know uh, uneven heat on the surface because of the uh, any misalignment issues or the lack of the lubrication right overall uh, what we i mean to explain here is this so uh, that there are some kind of uh, early signs uh, sign of failures uh, that we can catch with uh, using this technology so it will help us to avoid the breakdown or you can say to avoid the downtime okay uh, so uh, we can't cover everything uh, about thermography in one video so there will be a you can say series of videos on this topic so we will try to dig down more deeper and uh, try to cover most of the topics that relates to thermography so you can expect to have the videos on emissivity like what is emissivity and how the uh, camera calibration to be done and settings to be uh, settings to be done in the thermography cameras or the best practices for thermography right so lots of things uh, uh, will be we will be covering up here in our this series so guys uh, i hope that you understand what thermography is and how it relate to the thermal science right so uh, make sure to like subscribe and share this video to help grow the skill talk community and stay tuned for the next lesson in this expert training series